guys, Amesy here of Amesy's Antics. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well today because I have another craft project to inspire you, hopefully, and one that is upcycling some of your old rubbish by making these DIY tin can plant pots to house your plants, using a bit of decoupage to decorate them up and make them usable. So if you would like to see how to DIY your rubbish and make some DIY plant pots, out of tin cans, then let's get crafting. So for this project, you are gonna need some old tin cans, so your old bean tins, soup tins, chopped tomato tins, whatever you have, as well as some decorative napkins. I've got a few different patterns and colors here as well as some outdoor decoupage glue, which is Mod Podge in this case, and some decoupage type paintbrushes. As well as this, you are going to need some sealant, spray sealant, as well as some spray paint, and not forgetting a hammer and nails for a little bit later on. The first thing to do is prepare your tin cans for the project so you want to make sure they are clean both on the inside and outside using hot soapy water to do so and you may find that after you've removed the labels you will find some glue residue so just use a wire scourer for this and help sort of remove some of that glue from the outside of the tin. If you are finding that it is not coming off with the hot soapy water and the scourer then use some vegetable oil like olive oil onto a paper towel and put this over the glue because it will help somehow the grease helps unbreak that glue bond on the outside of the tin just keep going until it is all removed and i mean you could leave some on but you want the tin can to be as flush as possible for the decoupage to look nice i guess and because we are upcycling the tin cans into planters, then we want to create some drainage holes in the bottom of the cans so that we can help prevent any root rot of the plants and help drain away any excess water. So to do this, I'm using a nail and hammer just to puncture some holes in the bottom of that can. Now, I actually create five holes in the can and I think that should be about enough to help drain away that water. Now, you want to make sure it is a thickish nail so you can get a decent size hole in the bottom of that can just keep going until you feel you have enough drainage holes I guess in the can and be careful of your fingers because you know you can really hit them hard with a hammer so just be careful when the nail does move so I have bought this leak doctor thinking it was a bit of a sealant so I think I might have bought the wrong thing but what I want to do with this is seal the tin so that they don't go rusty because I don't know if the spray paint will be enough to stop it going rusty as well as the Mod Podge. So let's see how this goes. Let's head back outside and have a go at, oh that was my phone, and have a go at sealing the cans. So always follow the instructions on the can of spray paint or sealant in this case um, and giving it a good shake. Usually all things need a good shake before you can use them. And then just apply thin layers of the sealant on the inside of the cans. Now some of the cans may already be treated and this one is like a white inside so I don't know if it would actually go rusty but I just wanted to create a bit of a seal anyway. So after you've made the holes you want to spray the sealant on the inside and clean away any excess around them holes if it has sort of blocked them up a little bit but this is what it should look like and then we are going to move on to the outside of the tin can and I'm just spraying these white and it's a nice white matte spray paint that I'm using here but what I did find was that after spraying them on and I did a few different coats I think I did about two or three coats of the spray paint that some of the tin cans did taint the colour of this and it turned a little bit of a creamy colour which wasn't a problem because I think this adds to the look even more but just to be mindful you may need to use a colour block spray paint type primer before you actually use the spray paint and then spray all your cans ready for the next part And as you can tell, it was a lovely sunny day when I was doing this, so I decided to do it outside. And the first thing I am doing is just removing the top layer of that napkin from the rest. And I think these are actually a two-ply napkin. And you want the thinnest layer with the pattern on that you can get. So if it is a three-ply, remove the 
two layers leaving just the printed patent piece you want it nice and thin for the decoupage and do be careful because it is quite thin and you don't want to rip it then you want to use some of this outdoor mod podge to secure the tin can on but before you do that wrap around the napkin piece that you are using just to measure where it should end at the bottom of the can and give it a little mark and then a really good tip for the napkins instead of just trying to rip them use a really small paintbrush and some water and just paint a line with the water of where you want to tear this because it just makes it tear much more cleaner and easier and you're going to rip it where you want it to rip and it's not going to sort of rip in weird shapes it's going to rip where you've left the water line if that makes sense so do this for all the way around the can so that you have one piece of napkin that will fit the whole length of the can Then you want to take the Mod Podge glue and start applying it to the outside of the can and making sure this is a thin even layer so that you can adhere that napkin to it and then just go around the can as much as possible without sort of getting it all over your fingers I guess you want to do this in stages um, so just do a little bit at a time and then turn the can once part of the napkin is attached and once you have a little bit you then want to place your napkin over this and just line it up as neatly as possible it doesn't really matter if it's not too neat because it does sort of you can move it quite well once it is on there it is a bit more pliable just pat this down so that it does adhere to the edge of that can and then keep repeating adding the glue onto the can and then add in the napkin over it if you want to seal it down a little bit you can place a little bit of glue on that end piece of the napkin because when it goes all the way around then you can join it all together i think i waffled there a little bit but yeah keep adding the glue and the napkin If you found that you have some of the excess napkin once you have gone all the way around the can then you just want to use the paintbrush and water trick again to create a line down where you're going to remove the excess piece and gently pull this away and it should come away fairly cleanly. There might be a little bit of overlap still but all you want to do is pat this down and it should all stick into place and not look too bad and then you want to just use the Mod Podge once again and place a thin layer of this all the way around on top of the napkin being careful not to do it too hard because this can rip the napkin a little bit because the glue is still wet underneath ideally I think you want to leave the glue to set underneath and then begin placing on your layers of Mod Podge over the top because this will just seal the napkin in place then keep repeating and adding more layers of the glue until you're happy that everything is sealed and set in place I think I did about three to four layers of glue for a different style of decoupage you can use patterned napkins and remove individual pieces of this again using that water and paintbrush technique just to draw around the part that you want to use so I am just tracing out here a little bit of that lemon pattern from the napkin and tearing it away and you'll see it has a nice jagged edge which gives it a really nice effect and helps it blend into the tin can once it is attached so again using that water and brush technique to draw it around where you want and pull it off and then you want to follow the same process as before by placing Mod Podge onto the can where you want that little piece of the napkin to go and then begin placing the napkin piece over and gently pressing it into place to help it adhere to the can. Again, keep applying layers of the Mod Podge glue to help seal it onto the tin can and making sure that each layer is dry and I think this gives it a really good effect and it looks like a bit of the can has been eroded, you know, like a really nice vintage 
pretty tin can. Well, I think so anyway. Uh, and then we're gonna let them dry and move on to the next step of planting. Because these are DIY tin can plant pots, then we want to add a plant into them. So just use some of your compost. I am just using a bog standard one that I picked up from the supermarket here and some pansies. So you want to fill the compost halfway to three quarter full of the tin can and then select your chosen plant. I'm just gently breaking these away from each other. There's quite a few plants in this tray. Loosening the roots slightly so that they have room to move and grow and then placing it into the tin can and filling the rest up with some compost, moving it around and making sure that it is securely into that tin can, pressing it down and then giving it a really, really good water to help set it in and just help those roots set in and the plant flourish. And these, I am glad to say, are flowering really well so it hasn't been detrimental being in a small tin can and then once this is in place your DIY tin can plant pot is complete and ready to display looking pretty we're falling falling down we fading but I know I know that we can save it because we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of breakers down, I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega They have how to make DIY tin can plant pots, perfect for housing your plants and making them look nice and stylish. You can have these indoor or outdoor. We're using ours for outdoor because the Mod Podge is for outdoor. So fingers crossed they last. And even if it does start to peel a little bit, it'll give it a really nice rustic look, I think anyway. So let me know what you think of this craft down in them comments below and which design is your favorite, which one would you replicate? And if you are planning on replicate them, let me know in them comments below as well. And if you've enjoyed the video, then please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with more of my creative and crafty antics coming up onto the channel. And while you're there, hit that notification bell because that will alert you each time my new videos go live. And I also have a blog, so why not check that out? Ames is Antics, which is linked down below and up above. Uh, because there's a lot more information over on the blog for you to check out. And with that said, I will see you in next week's video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week and are able to do something creative and crafty in the next week coming up. And I'll see you next time.